There is £97 worth of boots order in this. Whoops. I wouldn't have done this haul if not for bargains, essentially. Hello and welcome to Life of Soph. I am Soph and I do shopping videos, travel videos, Disney videos and more. Today I'm going to be showing you my Boots haul. Now firstly I have to give credit to Boots because I got this order basically two days after I placed it so serious props to them. They also have an offer that they do every week called £10 Tuesday and two of the things that I bought in this haul were actually part of the £10 Tuesday offer. They were both £20 each so I've saved half price or £20 on those things and also they've got an offer on at the moment for 40% off number seven which is their own brand that they tout as kind of like a luxurious thing and I love number seven so I couldn't possibly resist that. So let's dive in and I'll show you what I got. The first thing that I got was part of their general sale from what I can gather and I don't know if I'm going to keep this for myself or if I'm going to give it to somebody but it's the Soap and Glory Hand Food which is a hand lotion but it's got this lovely pump on it. It was £5 and I've used this before because every Christmas they put it in a set with like a matching hand soap in a little tray and it's usually about £10 so £5 sounds about right for this. But it smells amazing and it's great at moisturising so I couldn't pass it up. For anybody who hasn't seen any of my previous videos I always buy cruelty free products so Soap and Glory are cruelty free. Everything you will see in this haul is cruelty free. Next up is another slightly miscellaneous item and it's this. I feel like you can't really see with the reflection, but this is the Revlon SPF 30 Protecting Boost Protection Intense SPF 30 for normal to dry skin. It's a moisturiser with SPF in it. I bought this because I was looking at one of the other offers on the Boots website and I was going to buy another moisturiser with SPF in it. But I wear moisturiser with SPF under makeup so that I don't have to put loads of layers on my skin and this review said that the product wasn't very good to put makeup on top of so I was kind of looking for something else. This Revolution moisturiser had great reviews for people who were putting makeup over the top of it. Let's just get it out of the box and see what it looks like. I love the Revlon stuff, it always looks so fancy. And let's just open it up and see what it looks like. Oh, it's got a a little protective cover on it, I appreciate that. Ooh. Ooh, it smells like sun cream. I love the smell of sun cream. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually kind of indented and it's all stuck up the side, which suggests to me that it's quite a thick cream. I'm running out of my moisturiser that's got SPF in it at the moment. I'm using a Botanics one, which is also Boots own brand and it's also cruelty free. It's great and I would have repurchased it, but unfortunately they don't appear to be selling it anymore, which is a shame. So I was looking for something else. The reason that I bought this was that it was a third off. So it should have been £10 and it was actually like £6.66. So we'll give it a go and see if it works. And finally in the kind of miscellaneous section is something that I take every day, it's the Boots High Strength Vitamin D. Now what I would say about this is that this is the high strength version as I said, so it's 25 micrograms. I think the recommended daily allowance is like 10 micrograms and I'm not a doctor, make sure you speak to your doctor before you start taking supplements. But I have always suffered with very low vitamin D levels. Well, When I was first diagnosed I was put onto tablets that were something like 3000% of the daily allowance to boost me back up and I'm low year round, it's not just because it's winter in the UK. All year round I suffer with low vitamin D and the low strength or standard strength isn't enough for me. I used to take something called max strength which was even more than that but this is the highest I can get off prescription at the moment. So it this gives me 180 tablets and it was £9 so 180 tablets is roughly what six months so £9 is nothing for that really. Next up I'm going to move on to the 40% off number seven. This seemed to have been slightly picked over online because they had a lot of stuff that was just showing as out of stock. If you've seen my Liverpool video then you will also have seen my mini haul for a couple of things that were 40% off in the number seven sale that I actually found in store. Um, if you haven't seen that then I'll put a link up in the corner for you. So the first number seven product I got was the Hydroluminous Overnight Recovery Gel Cream. I have used this range before, um, they have a, it's kind of like a serum, it's got like a dropper in it and I absolutely loved that the first time I tried it but I don't know if they've reformulated it but the next time I bought it I didn't love it as much. I think I've also used the day cream, I wasn't that fussed about it but this is the night cream so I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit more intense and a bit more moisturising so we'll see 
how we get on. And this should have been 15 pounds and I got it for nine. Again, let's just open it up and see what it looks like. It looks just like the last one that I tried. It's in this really lovely blue kind of ombre pot. And then let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, it smells like sun cream again. It's another thick one. Oh, it smells so good. It literally smells just like sun cream and sun cream to me just reminds me of summer. I'm all for that. Next up is a cleanser. This is the number seven melting gel cleanser for dry skin. This should have been 10 pounds and it was six. It's a pretty big um, bottle. Um, it says cleanse your way to radiant and healthier looking skin in one week. A luxurious gel formula that transfers into a cleansing oil as you massage it into skin. So it says massage into dry skin and rinse away with water. When I found this, I was actually looking to rebuy a cleanser from number seven that I've already got, which I think is called Radiant Results, but it seems like they don't sell it anymore. Boo hoo. So I decided to go for this. I kind of have combination skin and I'll be honest, the description didn't say for dry skin. I just saw that it was a gel cleanser. So I will give it a go. I use another cleanser, which is very stripping. It's one by Acne Side, which I think is now called Puricide. And it's incredible for preventing spots from coming up. So if you have an acne problem, definitely have a look at them. But yeah, looking forward to trying this one. Finally, I've got another cleanser. This is the number seven foaming cleanser for all skin types. This is another one that was 10 pounds down to six. You can see it's got a pump at the top because it's a foam cleanser. And it says it's for all skin types, so hopefully it will do me well. It says cleanse your way to radiant and healthier looking skin in one week. I'm sure that's exactly what the other one just said. It says a light and fresh cleanser that transforms into a soft, creamy foam to gently remove makeup, dirt, blah, blah, blah. Uh, with this one, you massage it into wet skin and then rinse away with water. So this might be a good one to use in the shower for me because I tend to wet my face and then I can use the cleanser and then rinse it off. I really do like number seven products and 40% off seemed like too good of an opportunity to miss. Also with skincare products, they don't tend to go off. And I say that tentatively because if you have something for like 10 years, then obviously it may well go off. But generally, I mean, these will be used in the next six months or so, which is why I've bought a couple, even though I'm kind of not desperately looking for a cleanser because I'm about to run out. I like to have stuff in so that when I do finish stuff, I'm not panicking about having to find the right thing. <laughs> Maybe I'm just too fussy. And again, just to emphasize that number seven is Boots own brand and it is cruelty free. All of Boots own brand products are cruelty free and also they tend to be really affordable, which is a reason why I buy them. And finally, onto my 10 pound Tuesday purchases. The whole reason I was on the Boots website is because they do this 10 pound Tuesday offer every week. They did also used to do a five pound Friday. And then I actually saw when I was looking on 10 pound Tuesday that they now do half price Friday. So I need to have a look at that because it's Friday today. But back to 10 pound Tuesday. So the first thing that I bought, and this is going to be a Christmas gift, is the Champneys Health Spa Body Balm Duo. It comes in this gorgeous box and it's got a little drawer on the end. Um, so let's have a look. Oh wow, these are much bigger than I thought it would be. So there's a slumber body balm and another one, which I think is the scent that I absolutely love. It is, it's Calm. A colleague that I used to work with bought me some stuff in the Calm scent last year and oh my goodness, it smells amazing. I don't want to open these because they are a gift for somebody for Christmas, but I can't believe what a bargain that was for £10. It should have been 20 so half price and they're massive. So I hope the person that I'm giving those to is going to be pleased. And finally, my other £10 Tuesday purchase is in another gift for Christmas. These are the Boots Ext Extracts Body Butter Set. So you can see there's four flavours, so we've got coconut, mango, vanilla and shea. These are heavy, um, four times 250 mils. So they are, again, they're quite big. I mean, the box is quite deep, so I, they must be a similar sort of size to the Champneys ones. Again, I just think Boots own stuff is such good quality and they will sell something like this at Christmas, but in Chris, fancy Christmas packaging and they'll sell it for 25 pounds. This was 20, half price down to 10. To be honest, if I used body butter, I would just buy this for myself, but I'm really terrible at moisturizing my body. So it would be a bit of a waste. So I hope the person that I'm giving these to is really gonna like them. So that's everything. As I said, full price, this should have been 97 pounds, but I spent 61, I think. With the two 10 pound Tuesday purchases, I automatically saved 20 pounds. And then I guess the other, oh no, I can't do maths. <laughs> the other 15-ish would have been made up a little bit kind of on everything else. If you want to know more about the cruelty-free brands that I love, then make sure you watch my dressing table tour here. 
And if you want to see my last Boots haul, which was also joint with a Primark haul, then make sure you press here. If you like this video, please make sure that you press the like button and also the subscribe button for more hauls like this. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.